Welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about the driver, the T-ball. In particular, we're looking to how we can set up to the driver correctly. And I'll talk through the common errors I see with golfers when they try and set up to the driver. So I'm going to give you the keys and the process to set up to the driver correctly every time to improve your driving. And also talk through the key faults that I tend to see with most golfers when they come for a lesson with me on the lesson tee with 20 years experience of doing so. So the driver setup, simple process is to get you in the right position every single time and to make sure you allow your swing to help you perform well with the driver on the golf course. So what I want to see is the feet together. Now what commonly happens with most golfers when we see them set up to a driver is when they put the ball forward in the stance, the sternum goes forward, the shoulders get very level or even trail side higher. And that causes the swing to want to be kind of downward and across the golf ball. And that's the biggest errors I see with the driver. And set wise, they have the sometimes ball position too far back also. And they're all scared of sky in the ball, so they tee it lower and lower and lower and lower. So what I want to see really is the feet together and the feet opposite the center, the center of the feet here, opposite the middle of the ball. Now move the left foot half an inch and flare it. Now the reason I want it flared is to allow us to rotate our lead side through the golf ball with ease. Now the trail side then moves away to shoulder width apart. And if, again, if we dangle a club down from our trail shoulder, I want this to be in the middle or the inner part of my foot, either or. This will be flared out about 10%, so nowhere near as much as the lead side, because it will restrict us moving through the lead side if it's too flared, so a slight flare. Now the keys from there really is the sternum needs to be behind the golf ball here. So this needs to be roughly in the center of the stance. And what we need to do really from here is feel like our right knee stays over our right foot and our lead hip goes up and towards target. We don't want this trail need to come inward because that again starts to put our pressure on weight towards our lead foot. We definitely want weight towards our trail side about 55%. Again, all this is enabling us to hit up on the golf ball and allow us to try and feel our swings to remain neutral or if anything, move for slightly from in to out because that's the desired path I'd rather see with the driver, neutral or into out, never out to it. Unless we're trying to hit a purposeful fade, which is fine if that's what we're trying to do. So our sternum is roughly in the center of our stance. Our head is roughly in the center of our stance. Again, a little drill we can do is put our forehead on a club like this and then sure that's where our head is. And then from here, right knee over the right foot and just move your trail hip towards target, your lead hip, sorry, towards target and upwards. That's the position I'd want to be in. A good habit to have is actually put the club five or six inches behind the golf ball and feel that's where we're going to be. And then just move the club head towards the ball if we want to and then pull the trigger. I'm quite happy for my golfers to actually hit drives with a club five to six inches behind the ball. I'm quite happy that, you know, Mo normally used to do something similar even more. It helps to encourage that upward angle of attack and it helps to encourage that into out path that I would desire. Okay, so that's the kind of process. Let's go through that in a shot. So we'd have a practice swing, we'd line ourselves up to the target, step in with a rough stance, feet together, left foot half an inch, right foot shoulder width, right knee there, left hip high. And the last thing I'm gonna really talk to you about today is really the trail arm. Down the back leg, keep it bent and tucked in. This will allow us to keep our shoulders squarer rather than open. So we're in this position here, we're getting comfortable. Comfort is key. Okay, and down the fairway. So, I don't want it to be too mechanical. I want it to get much more relaxed than perhaps I'm showing here today. So it might be a case of, okay, feet together, left foot, right foot, stand tall, bow and bend, weight right side, and pull the trigger. So the key things are really for me that we get the mechanics in the right position to allow us to perform correctly, allow us to deliver the right angle of attack, allow us to deliver the correct path, not get into bad habits that make our swing a certain way. So have a go at these processes, see how you get on. Let me know, let me know down below how you're getting on with these processes. Hope you enjoyed this video on the driver setup. Hopefully it'll 
make your driving much easier and better and more successful. If you did enjoy it, please click like down below. That really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, please chat down below. Tell me what videos you want to hear from me in the future and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects. And it really helps my channel if you do that and also gives you all the notifications for free every time I produce a new video. Thanks for watching. Catch you again here soon.